Hello and welcome back to Escape the Pacific. It's been a while. I got my boat in the water. Uh, there's a few changes they made that made it uh, very difficult to get it in the water. Uh, apparently weight does matter now. At least it seemed that way because I couldn't lift the boat. Or I could barely lift the boat. I had to sort of push it slowly. Oh, well, now it's working. Well, it wasn't before, but anyway. Uh, so, the boat's in the water now, and I'm ready to uh, sail off to another cluster. I've got all my crates except two on there. I've got every single item I found in this cluster on this boat. I've got my food. I've got tons. Of, well, not tons. I've got, what, 2.9 water in there and 58 water in there. I probably should get more, but we'll take a chance and go. So there's my pay, my my pace, my place, and I'm gonna say bye to it. And we're going sailing. So this is gonna be a long time for me and very short for you, but uh, I'm gonna just get going here. Got it in starter, so whatever that works. I'm gonna go around this way. I've got to go southeast. So map. my first time sailing. I got an extra sail on there. I don't know why I had such trouble before. Apparently, they changed the way it is. You're supposed to, and it even says in the instructions, hold your hammer and grab at the base, the thick base. And that's the way that you uh, pick up the mast and attach it to the boat. That's not true. You press E to pick it up by itself, and then attach it, and then grab a rope and attach the rope. That's how you do it now. So what they tell you in the instructions is wrong. That's why I had trouble. Anywho, not anymore. I'm, I'm doing fine. Oh, you know what I should do? Once I get going in the right direction, I'm going to switch to uh, test out the quick sail see how it works see if it keeps going in the same direction because I know god this is slow I've only got what do I have I have five sails on this thing and it's still slow as molasses so it'll be quite a while before I get to any village anyway my fish rack is full what the hell happened there? Okay. Good thing everything's attached. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's get going again. What's going on? Why can't I... There we go. I'm still trying to turn. So many issues that have not been fixed. Oh, wait a second. Going southwest. I've got to turn. Feels like I'm not moving at all. And yet it says that I'm going uh, one and a quarter anyway. Maybe one and a half. Evrons. Why am I not turning? Come on. Am I? It's like I'm standing still. This is ridiculous. Oh, so it doesn't work when you have the map up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, let's get out of that. And sail UI fast sail is Q till sunset. Let's do one whole day, see what happens. Okay, I can't do that. The fast sail speeds up and up 
the search for the clusters for real-time hours in a couple of minutes. It's possible to start the fast sailing only when you're out of the open, oh, in the open, oh, okay. Fair enough. So let's get uh, regular sailing then. There's the standard fast sail. So once I'm out of the cluster, then I'll be able to... Um... Oh, speaking of cluster, crap. Map. You for the, that. Hey, okay, where's the sun? It's pretty close to noon. Let's bring the sun down to the horizon here. Okay, now let's... There, we got the first cluster. Okay, fair enough. It's there. Let's go back to that and zoom in. Okay. Back in the shade. And we will start sailing again. All right, so I'll see you guys when I'm out of the cluster, and then we'll try the, uh, the fast sail in the open ocean. That was the biggest issue, once you leave the cluster, but it takes nearly a day to leave the cluster, and then nearly another day to get into the cluster enough to see an island. So the other four days of travel is in between, so... Uh, it's not so bad. I'm thirsty. I just drank before I left. You know, there's nothing worse than scales that don't make any sense. I was at 12. My thirst is at 54 just from leaving the island, which is right there. Wow. There, it's at zero. For God's sake, please. I'm good. Should be good. Now let's get on with this. All right, we're sailing away. We're out of the cluster now. It gave me a message. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when the message came up, but uh, let me... Yeah, completely out of the cluster. So now it's just showing first cluster. So... Exciting new cluster was the message and something or other. So I'm just going to go into quick sail. Well, let me uh, get out of this. Okay, Q. Well, how long do I want to sail? I'm going to do a full day. And over on the side, you'll be able to see, oh, I'm tired now. That's okay. I'll wait until I'm very tired. There I go, zipping by. Whee! <laughs> and now it's getting dark. Too dark to see. And I guess it will just keep... Oh, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. I just drank. I just ate. Wow. I've gone through 40, more than 40 on this, and 3 or 4 on this one. I've only got 36 left. Wow. So I may not have enough water. I think I should have had like 100 on that barrel instead of 80. So I'm going to eat that. How's my salt? My salt's pretty good. Vitamin C's getting low, so uh, let's find one of these. Now we're good. Okay, um, okay, for one day. Let's go. I'll be back when I reach the next cluster. Okay, I'm gonna wake up now. Jesus Christ, I'm down to 32 now. And I still need a drink. Okay, let's escape this. Hunger is 32.
Okay, perfect. Let's do the for one day thing again. By the way, I was almost, I guess I was two and a half days or two and three quarters days just to get out of the cluster. So, not very good. It's going to take me another two days after I reach a cluster just to uh, find an island. I'm thirsty again. Jesus. And I'm tired again? Wow. Okay. It's going a lot faster than I thought. So you can't get through a full day anyway. And I'm thirsty again. And I'm thirsty again. <laughs> Jesus. And it's about to rain, but I have nothing to collect. Oh, no way of... Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can just set it... And give it a try. Take this out. No, uh, it won't work. If I put it here, maybe? It seems to stay there. Oh, it's collecting water. Yay! That'll give me another ten. Let's grab the bucket. The rain stopped. And we'll take a... Put it in here. Back in there. Okay. This definitely isn't easy. Mm, hungry and thirsty. Okay, let's stop, see what the journal says. Hunger. Yeah, I know what hunger is. Okay. thirsty and I'm tired. How can I be tired? I just completely rested. Oh, 55. That's not so bad. Never mind. But 61 on the thirst again. Ugh. Almost sunset again. So that's, uh, what's that, been two days in the out of the cluster. Two and a half days getting out of the cluster, so that's four and a half days now. Almost five. And there I go again, sunrise. Exactly five days later. And I'm thirsty again. I'm very thirsty. Wow. So, yeah, you can speed up time by a full day, but unfortunately you can't actually get enough water in your system to last a whole day. So, there, I'm thirsty again. Only went by the camera once. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Holy crap. So, I need another one. No, oh, look at me walking. <laughs> look at my feet. La 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 la. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna do experiment this time. Almost out of water. Thirst is at five. And my pocket watch says 220. Now, uh, let's put that away. And when I get extremely thirsty again, we'll look at how thirsty I am and how much time has passed and see if it's anywhere near realistic, because I don't think it is. I think it's like four hours and you're completely dehydrated. It's ridiculous. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. Six days in. I'm very thirsty. Okay, stop. Now. What's my watch say? 10.30. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So, eight hours and I got 70% uh, thirst. You be the judge. Let me know if you think that's normal. That's all my water and I'm still thirsty by 22. I'm gonna grab these. Uh, actually, let's put that over there and this in here. Come on. Oh, was it too heavy? Sorry about that. Alright, check the map again. Still first cluster. And I can't zoom into a new cluster, so... Thirsty again. Holy crap. Well, it's near the end of the day, so... It's like uh, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, something like that. Okay, let's, let's just check to see what time it is. Yeah, 6.30. Okay. No more water. Let's grab this. Sixteen on the thirst. I need some more salt. It's dried salmon without salt. It's one with salt. Okay, so how am I? Eighty-four and eighty-nine. Not too bad. Oh, where's my bucket? Let's do this again. Day seven, I believe. No new cluster. As soon as the sun comes up, welcome to day eight. There we go. I'm going in the right direction, according to the seagulls. Now this could be taking really long because I'm, uh, unfortunately, a little bit slow in this raft, because this raft is a little bit slow. It's a bit heavy. There, my thirst is down to four. Again, sorry for the angle, that's just one of the little flaws of this game. If you're on the boat too long, you start to uh, lean. 
As if the world has tilted. Back down. Actually, I wonder. Well, it seems to stay on top of the crates, no problem. So what am I doing? Putting it on the ground. Whoa. But I don't go on the crates very well. <laughs> okay, that, that's all the rain we're going to get right now, I think. At least I got 4.7 out of that. Day 9, boys and girls. Still haven't found a cluster. FYI, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the fast sale. But it seems to me that um, something's seriously wrong here. Day nine. So two and a half days to get out of the cluster. <laughs> and then, what is it, six and a half days to, uh, and I'm still not into another cluster? Something's very wrong. I'm just going to do fast sail from here, because otherwise I will die. No way I can make it. Yeah, that Q button should not be there, because I'm trying to move the sail around, and it's not letting me. Well, it's letting me move the sail around, but it opened up the uh, fast sail menu. Which is not good. Now i got to get out of here. Okay, before I drown... Salt water. Great. Ah. Empty. Watch this. I'm going to go into my inventory and the bucket moves. That was really weird. Yeah, see, it slid forward as soon as I went into my inventory. It's like the boat stops or something. Ah, oh, challenge complete. Cluster discovered. All right, so this is just about day 12, I think. 12 or 13. And I'm finally in a cluster. So map. Can I see anything? No. But we're in a cluster now. And I won't know what the cluster's like until something happens. All right. That's good. Nothing on the horizon. It's probably going to be another day before I see an island. We're going to make it. Thank God for rain. I'd suggest you get at least 200 water. Fill every bottle you can get. Fill two barrels. And collect as you go. Because it's ridiculous how much water you go through. Like, honestly, I would have filled the ocean with urine. <laughs> how much I drank. It's ridiculous. But, here we are. So to get to this cluster took me, uh, in real time, two hours, even with the speed-ups. So it probably saved me an hour. But uh, recording for two hours just to get like 15 minutes of uh, video is real pain in the butt. Not my favorite. I mean, literally, I've gone gotten a drink, I've texted a few people, I've been walking around. <laughs> it's just like, wow. That's not how you play a game. They've got to come up with something better. I mean, maybe you could put some food and water in your inventory. 
enough to go through a couple of days. Maybe it will tell you, okay, you need this much water, this much food. And then you can go through 14 days instantaneously, whatever it is. And if you don't have enough food and water, then you can't do it. And you know that you need to turn around and go back to your cluster. I would rather see that than, uh, you know, going through three hours of time, real time, playing this, trying to get through a cluster, or to a cluster, and finding out that you didn't have enough food or water anyway, and you're going to die. It's just like, wow, okay, can we start over? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a good way to make somebody not want to play, in my opinion. You want to make a game fun and challenging, not challenging and boring. So let's let's think about that, developer. I'm sorry to be so brutal, but uh, in all honesty, I'm I'm exhausted sitting here just staring at a screen while nothing's happening. Wow. <laughs> let's pull up the map again. Okay, now, can I move? Yes. Nothing. Oh, see something. I finally see an island. It's not even morning yet. Okay, we've got our first island. Oh, somebody turned on their headlights. <laughs> Holy crap. That moon just got really bright. Oh, some others are starting to show up. But one there. One here. Well, one other. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Let's I've never been able to see that far with a map. Oh, wait a second. I think I can see it now. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny little island that doesn't even seem to have a tree on it. That's not a good start. Let's get there quickly. Yeah, there's another, another island behind it. So maybe it has trees on it. Maybe it's just a small island. Another one there that I can't see yet. One, two, so we've got three. Well, let's uh, let's get there and see what it is. Interesting looking island. It looks like there's a uh, a worship place there, but no trees. That's different. That's the first time I've seen one without trees around it. So let's land and see what we can get. At least if we're near this island, there's another little tiny outcrop there. That's the, that's an island, but it's so small you can't tell what the hell it is. <laughs> wow. This does not look like a fertile cluster. May not have been a good idea to leave where I was, but whatever. They sails so they're not moving. As long as they're straight, I'm able to land. Oh, I'm finally on land and I'm bouncing around like <laughs> something's bad is about to happen. Okay, so we've got a lantern. Why? Put this down. You know what? All this bouncing around. I'm going to have to uh, stop here for a sec. Save. All right. We are back, and it seems like everything is back to normal now that I've shut the game down and restarted. At least I think it is. Okay, let me grab a bucket. I'm going to grab all that water first. Whee! Holy crap. 
glitchy as hell. Okay, at the end of all this, once I search this island, I'm going to give you a honest review what I think of this fast sail. Because in all honesty, it took me just as long <laughs> to use that fast sail. As a matter of fact, longer. It was seven days... Well, I may as well, yeah, I'll start the review now. When I did my first uh, cluster sail, months ago, it took me seven in-game days to get to my first cluster. And then another cluster that I went to, it took me 14 days. And now, and it was three hours time, three hours of my time. So this has been, even with the fast sail, it has been, uh, looking at my recording time, I'm at 2.13 plus a half an hour plus, yeah, so we're almost at three hours play time, actual time, which is no different than what it was before. I'm just going to take it all. Can't take it. Okay. There we go. Everything's in there. I just need to check out the wreck. Okay, so back to my review. I believe that the uh, it's a, it's a neat concept. I like the way it looks. I love the idea of uh, just seeing the fast sail, but it doesn't really work if you're going to be thirsty, like halfway through one of the animations. <laughs> a quarter of the day, you're over, you're overly thirsty, so you have to stop anyway. So I would like to see them change that, so that what I would like to see is when you're between clusters, there's absolutely nothing to see other than maybe seagulls if you want to make sure your bearing is correct. So you can stop at any time to do that. But I would like to see, as I was saying before, a very simple, you click to the next cluster. It's like, which direction is it? Okay, you've got a map or you've got a piece of paper from every cluster that tells you which direction you should travel to get to another cluster. So, you go in that direction, and then once you're out of the cluster, you should be able to click fast travel. It will tell you how much food, how much water you need to get to the next cluster. You, in, you put that in your inventory, and then click OK, and you're at the next cluster. And all your food and water that you put in your inventory is gone as well. Except for the containers that they may have been in. And then you only have another 15 minutes or whatever to sail to find an island. That's okay. But this two to three hours of sitting here waiting to find an island? Oh my god. Like, I'm sorry, but it is the biggest waste of time I've ever had to deal with in any game. So please stop this now. Now... Whether you like what I'm saying or dislike what I'm saying, I really don't care. This is my opinion, and I'm entitled to have one. So here it is. And uh, yeah, so onward and upward, we're in a cluster. And this is definitely a good island to get eggs and feathers and whatever else this is going to bring me. But it's not a good island to build because there's no trees. And let's see what's on the wreck. What the heck is that? Uh, do you see that out there? Is that a boat or what the hell is that? I can't I can't see it on my map. I can't tag it. Wow. Okay. Well, while I'm doing that, let's tag these. So when I get to them, Oh, look at them all. Okay. There we go. Alright. Now, I need to take my bags off. It's been a while. Sorry. 
I don't want to drown right now. So let's go. Oops, J to read. Ritual place uh, is used in natives and offering meals to their gods. The meals spawn every day, but it is needed to leave the ritual place at least to some other neighboring island and not revisit for a couple of days. It is not advised to be greedy. Okay. So we'll go for a couple of days. Here we go for a swim. Okay. Well, it looks like there's only one crate on this one. Guess maybe I just collected it and drank 0.5. Oil, water. There we go, I'll drink that. And I'll eat that. There we go, no hunger. Thirst is still not great. Put on the, uh... Backpack! A backpack! There we go. That's all we're gonna do today. Just gonna put this stuff away. And... I want to thank you for watching. I uh, I would like to know what you think. Do you think this game should be more in the lines of challenging but fun? Or challenging but realistic? Like realistic to the point where you're spending most of your life just between <laughs> clusters. Uh, I don't know. You know, some people may think that that's really cool. I just find it to be a bit wasteful of my time. So, let me know what you think. Nope, I didn't see that fire before. That's a good place for a campfire. Not so bad, except for the fact that there's no wood to start one. He, uh, take these off so that something else can happen. Leave them here so I can get water next time if it rains. And that's that. Well, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and but that is a boat. What the hell? What kind of boat is that? Is, is that a sail ship? Is it... It almost looks like a cruise liner. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like uh, Mickey Mouse's boat's coming my way. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go that way to go after him, because that's... Uh, but I will get out in the water. I will extend this video just a little bit longer, just so I can uh, see what's going on there. Going to the sail ship. First time in this particular uh, season. Let's see if we can get close to it. And if we can get close enough that something happens this time. The way it was before, you couldn't get close to the ship. You couldn't swim close to the ship. And um, it didn't do anything. I'm very tired, so let's get there quickly. All right, we're getting close. Turn off the super speed here. Move up. There's the boat. Now how close can I get to it?
a lot closer. Oh, no, there, there's the invisible wall. Okay, let's back up here. Okay, so, map. Did see this one before I saw any of the other ones. So let's go to that little dot and you'll be there with me in the next episode. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the coming weather and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.